Hello everybody, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget Beach, and in this video, I'm going to show you our clicker setup or presentation computer, um, projectionist, DLP operator, kung ano bang tawag ninyo sa church ninyo. We're gonna discuss today our software, the software that we use, the hardware that we use, and then our setup for this church and why we do it the way we do it here. So if you're interested with this video, check this video out. <laughs> Hello there! If you are new to this channel, please do me a favor and click the like button below so that more people can watch this video and learn from this. And if you are new to this video, please don't forget to lay your hands on that subscribe button so that you won't miss any video that I will be posting soon and very soon. So, ayun na nga. Starting up the software that we use. In church, we use Pro Presenter 7. So siguro sa churches ninyo, gumagamit siguro kayo ng PowerPoint, ng Microsoft, or Easy Worship. But in our church, we use here Pro Presenter by Renewed Vision. And this software helps us to do our presentation here in church with ease, with so much... Um, Ano ba, mas madali for us and mas accessible, mas um, volunteer friendly and all that. And it will lessen all the workforce that we will have. Basically because this allows us to give us three different outputs. One for the congregation or your audience na output. Second is for your broadcast na output. So your lower thirds and all of the things that we need for broadcast. And third is our stage na monitor, which is our monitor or output natin for the performers stage. In a pastor, in a worship leader, and everyone na nandun. So, later on, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So, this is the reason why we chose ProPresenter as our presentation software. So, during the time when we purchased this, I think we purchased this at around 18,000 pesos kasi medyo cheap si dollar non. I don't know ngayon kung magkano na. Siguro, bam! Here it is. I'm gonna post it here. If you wanna purchase ProPresenter 7, click the description link below and that will redirect you to the buy option ni ProPresenter 7 by Renewed Vision. Baka naman Renewed Vision. <laughs> so, that's our software, ProPresenter 7. For all of you guys out there, I encourage you to use this software for your church. It will make your lives easier. And also, all of the features na nandito will be very, very beneficial sa inyo. Now, let's go to the hardware that we use. It's very important to us that we have multiple outputs kasi nga, tatlo yung sinisenda namin. Using this one computer right here, sana all RGB. <laughs> As I was saying, we output from this computer, tatlo, okay? Audience, broadcast, and stage na output. That's very important sa amin. Now, how do we do this? Number one, to start with, ang computer na ginagamit namin is a new computer. We bought this this year uh, so that we can maximize the ProPresenter software na ginagamit namin. So, ang pair talaga ng software, guys, is your hardware. So, you need to invest sa gear ninyo. This is how we invested sa gear namin. This is how we upgraded ours. Right here is yung specs ng computer namin. So, let's check it out. Number one, yung processor ng computer namin is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 6-core processor, 3.7 gigahertz. So, yun yung processor niya. Siguro sinasabi nyo, pastor, parang overkill naman. Nope. Kasi, this is just making us future-proof because the church is always advancing and our visuals are always upgrading. So, you need to protect yourself for future upgrades. So, that's why medyo mataas na yung kinuha namin na processor. So, that medyo tatagal pa yung PC na to. At kung mag upgrade kami ng other niya ng, ng mga hardware, makakahabol pa rin, lumalaban pa rin si PC natin. Now, let's go to the RAM. Initially, we started with a 16 gigs na RAM. Uh, yun yung pinaka-baseline ngayon, 16 gigs. Kasi... Uh, when you go lower, like 8 gigs, only Google Chrome will consume the RAM. So, 16 gigs baseline. But for this computer, we upgraded it to 32 gigs of RAM. Again, future proof, you guys. Future proof. Okay, another thing that is very important sa computer na to is its video card or graphics card. In this computer, we are using a GeForce RTX 3050. Sana all. <laughs> 
Now, we are using this uh, video card right here for the reason na apat yung outputs niya. May dalawa siyang HDMI and may dalawa siyang DP na output. It's very, very important that we have this because again, future-proofing you guys, we're using three outputs for outputs namin and then one for this monitor right here. Kasi dapat si clicker may nakikita siya. So, very important. May tatlong output palabas at saka may isang output for monitor ng clicker niyo. So, four outputs in total. Again, dalawang HDMI siya. So, no problem kayo dyan. Pero dalawang DP siya. It's very important na gagamit tayo ng dongles. So, DP to HDMI dongles. So, you might be asking, Pastor Kyle, bakit hindi na lang kayo nag-tech link yung may HDMI output na apat or yung may SDI na output? Um... We're looking towards that for our future na upgrades because right now, this is what we have here in Kagen de Oro. And when we built this computer for setup, nung sinetup namin siya, ito lang yung available. We didn't have much time to actually wait for the deck link, bilhin pa namin doon. And also, when you buy a deck link, it's the same price. So might as well go for this and use this computer also for editing. So maging multi-purpose na siya and happy yung media team natin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's it for hardware. Now let's go to our setup. Let's go. All right, so this is our setup. Uh, this is how it looks like sa Pro Presenter. When you click, nothing is impossible right here. Ito siya, yung lumalabas sa on-site natin. Ito is sa online natin. Yan, may naka green screen siya because si Kiki lang natin yan to remove the green screen. And then this is what is happening sa stage screen. So, basically, ito yung nakikita ng performers natin sa stage. So, yung lyrics na to and the next lyrics na available. Also, nakikita nila yung time remaining, yung current time ngayon, and countdown. Ayun. So, basically, ito yung tatlong outputs namin. On-site, online, and stage. Yun. Now, how do we set this up? Punta ka dito sa screen. When you look at here sa screen, you're gonna see here, configure screens. Now, here's the thing. For our audience, okay, these are the screens for the audience. Yung on-site natin, lumalabas siya dun sa splitter natin sa labas. So, yung splitter natin, siya yung nagsasplit sa tatlong TVs sa labas ng church. Ayan, so dun siya nagsisend. Now, for online natin, direct siya from HDMI to our switcher right here. So that's very important. Nandito siya sa so number 4. Ayan. Now, for our stage screen, pupunta siya dito sa output lang. So basically, we're using here a um, HDMI extender, which is here. So from, from this computer, pupunta siya dito, HDMI, and then from this extender, Ethernet cable, pupunta sa TV sa labas, and then, ayun na. Ito yung nakikita doon. This one right here. So, basically, that's our setup for Pro Presenter 7. And this is something we're very, very proud of. Number one, because we're able to pull it off. And most importantly, this helps us to have better flow dito sa church. So, that's it for this video. Again, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. And if you guys have questions and you have to talk with me and consult with me regarding this one, I offer consultation services. Click the link below, you guys, and I will be really glad to help you and your church be more effective and efficient. Hindi lang dito, kundi whatever you need to do, I would be glad to be of help sa inyo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you're here and you're still watching this video, thank you so much, so much, so very, very much. And don't forget to lay your hands on the subscribe button so that you won't miss any video that I will be posting soon and very soon until Jesus comes. That's it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.